All right, so the last step to this is to composite it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to import that final file that I rendered. Here it is. I'm going to make sure that straight unmatted is, is checked. And I'm going to drag and drop this in a new composition. And the alpha channel is already there, which is super awesome. Okay, so that's what our render looked like out of uh, um, out of cinema, and we got our plane there. We got our background object. Um, so I'm just gonna have some fun with it, and I'm gonna make it look um, really dynamic and awesome. And so the power with After Effects is this is a great render by itself. Um, that's maybe super visually interesting, but I can do a ton with um, some adjustment layers, some flares. Um, some dirt. I mean, there's a lot of different things we could do, and we can make this very grungy. We can make it very bright. We can make it very blue. We can make it very orange. So I'm just going to do a couple different things with it. Um, this one, I'm just going to add. Um, I'm going to make a very bright orange one. Um, make it feel like that bright orange light that was hitting that back is just um, really warming this whole scene, making it a little more dynamic. So one of the first things I love to do is add a, um, a curves adjustment. So help the contrast a little bit, so pull it down a little bit. It's called just kind of an S curve here. Um, I also love to push the blue channel a little bit in the blacks. Okay, I'm gonna make a new solid layer that's black. I'm gonna call this flare. And I'm going to use another plugin I like to use, which is um, the Optical Flares from Video Copilot. I'm going to pick one of the presets here. scale quite a bit and lower the brightness okay I'm gonna add a <clears throat> whoops a hand draw kind of a vignette around it as well kind of bring more attention to the center of my screen so I'm just gonna do this here A couple different transfer modes here. Hmm. Not necessarily loving any of those. Uh, Misfire has a really great um, vignette tool as well that I like to use a lot. OK. 
Okay. Whoops. Now, if I wanted to, you kind of grunge this up a good bit. I'm um, gonna do something fun with it. I'm gonna import a um, a dirty lens. Um, clip or a kind of stock photo that I like to use every once in a while. Kind of create some dirt and stuff like simulating on the lens. And we'll just multiply our screen it here. Obviously, that's a little much, but if we do something like this, lay it up under here. Blur it out. feel like I'm going to do some more adjustment here with the levels. See I have nothing living down here. I'm going to bring this up, brighten it out, and pull it back down for a little more contrast. Another thing I could do is this already has that little depth of field that we created on it, but adding a little bit more blur never hurts. So if I add some more blur to this and I just mask out the shapes that I want, so say this. And this up here. another way you can add a little bit more blur to the scene um, I may even duplicate that and add it to my background scenes here and this can be pretty rough it doesn't need to be exact even so yeah that's looking pretty interesting um, and you can just kind of toggle off and on and see what you're doing to it uh, there's our there's our original and that's kind of what we've done to it Original, what we've done to it. If you hit Shift Command H, that'll hide all your layers and stuff. So there we go. Um, I'm pretty happy with that for now. Um, I may do through cycle through a couple other looks and see what I like. Um, 
and show this to you as well. All right, so there's a final composited scene. Um, you can spend as much or as little time on this as you want, kind of refining things, making them better. Um, one other little thing I could do that I was just thinking about could be kind of fun is we have kind of these, um, this metallic-y edge. I could create kind of sitting on the edge of these guys right here. And knock this thing back. And then drop this into our You can even ditch the other flare and you can have a whole different type of blue look to this. Um, so, again, just a lot of cool possibilities. A lot of things you could do. Um, just to create some different looks and... Um, I actually really like that and get some different things going for your scene. So um, hope that was enjoyable. Hope that was helpful. Um, thanks for watching.